uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to calculate a bias point of a simple circuit using AutoCAD uh, P Spice. If you do, we create a new project and we select the analog of MixReady and give it a some name bias point of transistor and then just click OK and select P Spice AD in when it asks for the choices. And then we have the schematic. We open up this page, and that this is what we have right now, and that's the circuit we are going to focus upon. So what we do is we place uh, a part and. We are going to first place a transistor which is in go to breakout a library called breakout and then just place a cube break 3 it's an n type transistor and then uh, the double click it to select this and we have the transistor here and then we slide it to place it at a place and then we go to analog and then place two registers uh, one of the registers is at its base and the another register would be at its uh, collector and then we rotate the resistor place it from here uh, from here I just zoom it so you can view it more properly okay and then next thing we do is we place voltage source which is in source and you go to VDC just two simple voltage sources one at the register of the base and another at the register R2 the next thing we are going to do is to uh, to join these with wires So we basically connect it using wire this this is connected this end of the register is connected to the base of the transistor this one goes to the ground and Okay, and then we change this one to say 5 volt DC. You can place a voltage probe node if you want to. So that's what the, the circuit we have right now. Now the basic theory is this 5 volt is supplied to the transistor. When this voltage is zero, the transistor is in cutoff and this junction is practically open 
and you will get a 5 volt here when this is something more than 0.7 volt the transistor is operating and this junction is practically closed and this voltage should be close to zero and that's what we are trying to do simulation i'm not going into the theory of this transistor or how it works you can follow any of the uh, books on transistor uh, theory or a basic electronics book that will show you but uh, and i just want to show you how to do it using orcat pspice so what you do is you go to pspice new simulation profile give it some name something like transistor bias and then in the in the analysis type you select bias point and click ok once you do that just run this simulation and it will take a, a little while and then it will come up with the uh, voltage values as you can see this point is really very small voltage uh, sorry did not function as, it, as it's, it was expected to I'm not sure why uh, we'll have to figure it out this voltage is zero so this was supposed to conduct and this this was open so this voltage was supposed to be the same as 5 volt so somewhere there is something is disconnected or something which is making it behave not in an expected way okay it looks like this one is not how it should be connected what we should happen is we should connect it like this uh, the positive end going through this resistor in the negative end of this voltage source so it actually connect to the to the ground and once we have connected it in a right way uh, if we rerun this simulation uh, it should it, it it gives the voltage bias point in a way mm, that's expected so let's zoom it to the exactly then the next thing we want to do is we want to change this voltage from 0 volt to let's say 2 volt TC and once you increase this voltage from anything above 1 volt or 0.7 volt or so this transistor is fully conducting so these two points are practically short and this should show something like very something very close to 0 volt let's see if that happens or not so you can see if we increase it to 2 volt this voltage is uh, points a little above 0.7 volt which is the base to ammeter junction voltage and this voltage is practically 0 it's 0 0.048 millivolt which is the emitter and collector junction volt in full conducting mode so the idea of this whole exercise is to show you that it's possible to calculate the bias point using or cat p spice you can create more uh, complex configuration where you can have a register on its emitter or you can have multiple transistors and then you can calculate their bias points hope that it helps thanks